Bosford.friends, Earl at thelogbook.com. We're back in the arcade. We're ready to play Logger. Wait, this... I could swear I've seen this game somewhere before. It's coming to me. It's coming back to me. Oh yeah, this appears to be a total ripoff of Donkey Kong. As you can see, the copyright is from a UK outfit called Century Electronics. But it gets really interesting even knowing that. Because Century Electronics did establish a US presence. Century was one of many companies that started trying to market uh, convertible games. Uh, kind of non-specific cabinet where you could swap out the PC boards, swap out the marquee. If there was specific control panel art, swap that out. Boom, it's a new game and you didn't have to buy, you know, you didn't have to splash out two, three thousand dollars on a new cabinet. The... They had some success with this in the UK and Europe when they tried to peddle that same system in the United States, especially with, uh, shall we say, some very derivative games as part of their offerings, uh, they didn't meet with very much success. They also had a serious problem finding a company to partner with to market this in the American arcade scene and the result was really kind of one of those corporate disasters that was starting to happen you, you know even this early the arcade industry did not crash at the same time as the home industry but there was a shakeout of that side of the industry coming and you know, this was one of the earliest players to kind of exit the game. But anyway, that's that's all uh, concerning business matters. Let's actually play the game here. Jump the logs to score. Okay, well, I think I have a pretty good idea how to play Donkey Kong. Oh, it talks. Press start button. Really? Well, all right then. We will, uh, we'll give it a try. Not the most responsive controls I've ever encountered. Okay, I thought I had that jump, but all right. So instead of a, a instead of a member of the primate family, we seem to be dealing with an oversized bird. into that one. Now you really have to wait until the last second. Much like the Who, I won't be fooled again. Really? Okay, wow, I get to put my name in for that? That was... terrible. But, alright then. 
if you insist. Four hundred whole points. I, I don't know if I can do better than that, folks. Sorry, so sorry. Flies off. Okay. Okay, so we are, uh... We are totally ripping off the, uh... The cement factory screen. score this time. Okay, I I increased my score more than uh, tenfold. No, not not PDE. Not not PDS. Let's get it right. PF. Okay, you know PF period. I I'm good. I'm good. Um Give it one more go. So, yeah, now I'm wondering about my character. Is this like... Is this British Mario? Is this Mario with a British accent? guy start out as a logger or you know was, was he too originally a plumber and you know decided one day he wanted to be a lumberjack leaping from tree to tree as they float down the mighty rivers of British Columbia giant redwood the larch the fir the mighty Scots pine you know where I'm going with this. That had to hurt. So, there you have it. Logger from from Century Electronics in the UK. I am assuming that no one from Nintendo ever set eyes on this thing. 
while it was being shown off somewhere. If indeed a company with something this derivative actually dared to show their face at something like the um, Amusement Machine Operators of America trade show where these games were usually debuted. And, you know, here we have the rivet screen from Donkey Kong. Wow, it's it's just amazing. Copyright law regarding these things really was the Wild West back then, and this is simply further proof of that. <laughs> 